it's time to stop procrastinating and actually be productive like you want to be let's talk about 10 healthy habits to actually being productive staying disciplined staying motivated and getting things done i'm currently sipping on my productivity shot which i'm going to be sharing with you guys here one of the habits i don't gatekeep here and this stuff is real good i'm brianna i do lots of lifestyle vlogs wellness content to help motivate and inspire you to be your best self so make sure you guys subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so you don't miss out on any more of my content Let's talk about being busy versus actually being productive. Being busy is often the state of constant motion without clear direction or purpose. It's the act of juggling multiple tasks but failing to make significant headway in one area. On the flip side, being productive is about making effective use of your time to generate results and move closer to your objective. So what are you? Are you busy or are you actually productive? And speaking for myself, when I have a lot on my plate, it can be easy to get overwhelmed and actually start procrastinating things more than actually accomplishing them, especially when I don't have systems in place. My time management is bad because then you're not actually getting anywhere you're kind of doing a whole lot of nothing you know what i mean it's way too easy to be in your lazy girl era but it's time to finally be in your productive girl era who actually takes action steps let's hop into the first healthy habit it truly starts i'm not even going to say that it starts with your morning routine because it starts with both a morning routine and a night routine and i think personally that a night routine is honestly how you're going to set yourself up for the most success because that is what's going to help you for your morning routine if you have a bad night Night routine your morning routine chances are is not going to be the greatest so your night routine should set you up for success what time are you going to sleep if you want to wake up early let's say at 5 a.m and you want to have a nice productive day maximize your productivity then you need to have good sleep if you're just scrolling on your phone that's not going to get you anywhere honestly you're really just wasting your time time is everything time is so valuable so start with a good night routine do self-care habits in your night routine that make you feel good relaxed you can have your tea do a face mask and just have a really relaxing night take Taking out your clothes for the next day taking out your gym clothes if you want to wake up at five to do a workout and then a good morning routine also looks like something that is going to be relaxing so that you're not stressed going into your work day or whatever day you're having if you have a lot of tasks even if it's on the weekend if you have a busy list of things to do you want to have a routine in the morning that is kind of a little bit more about you mindfulness so that you can give it your all throughout the day and you're not just rushed going into it because that is going to negatively impact you i am telling you you want to use these micro habits in your routine because micro habits you know have a bigger impact later on as you're consistent with them this leads into habit number two which is you want to start writing your to-do list the day before so instead of when you're about to start your work day now you're sitting and writing out your list which i know not every day is going to be perfect but like i said when you build habits you have to be consistent with them to actually build the habit and doing this as night is great also because for somebody who sometimes when i'm going to sleep i have all these thoughts like the creative juices are flowing like if your mind is racing at night i highly recommend like make sure you also do this because it's going to make the biggest difference because you don't have to worry about thinking everything is out on paper writing it out actually helps so that you don't feel overwhelmed and you don't feel stressed and make sure that your to-do list is realistic because yes you can put so many things on your list but then at the end of the day if you don't actually get everything done you're kind of going to be thinking you know what did i actually get done and it can also negatively impact you because you're like dang you know did i even do anything and make sure that in your to-do list you have a top three priority those are the things that you okay obviously i have a deadline or something these have to be first on my list and then you can go into everything else personally for me i like to have a list where i can can physically check things off so if you're doing it digitally like on your ipad or on your computer make sure there's a little checkbox so you can actually see a green check mark or something because that also helps in our mind make us feel a little bit more productive and it just is like a feel good thing to keep the momentum going and habit number three is a huge one this is going to be for those who struggle with actually staying on task and who get distracted you're going to be using interval timers to help you with your tasks this means setting a timer and then after the timer is done so setting a 30 minute timer setting maybe like a 45 minute timer and then once the timer is done you're going to take a mini five minute break whether that's just getting up to stretch your leg whether that's going outside to get fresh air whatever that means but that five minutes is for you and so it helps you just you know get out of the zone for a quick second and then you can hop back into it if you're going 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 then you're gonna hit a crashing point this is something that has helped me so much because i know sometimes we can be doing things and then you see something else and you get distracted by it and then you get distracted by another thing and another thing but if you have a timer it's like you're racing against a clock essentially that's the way that i like to think of it and you can use this for your chores too and something that also helps me stay on task and not procrastinate not be distracted is this from magic mind which i showed you guys earlier it's a mental performance shot but it's matcha based 
actually tastes really yummy which is a plus because some wellness things out there are a little iffy with the taste wise as I was mentioning before we can be easily distracted by so many things also having brain fog or you find yourself in a free state when you're trying to be so productive this is something that you can add into your daily routine it doesn't have to replace your coffee you can just sip on it during the day you can add ice to it you can also just make your own little drink out of it and the more you're consistent with it the more you'll actually see the results of like the good energy no crashing no jitters so for example lion's mane which is in it is helpful for the mental performance you also have ashwagandha l-theanine for less stress loaded with nootropics adaptogens antioxidants and immunity support to really help with our energy levels throughout the day magic mind is truly solving all our problems you can use brianna f20 at checkout and everything will be linked down below so make sure you guys check them out magic mind sent me these to try and see if i like them to see if it works for me before sponsoring this video so all opinions are my own and honestly thank you because i've been able to stay focused and stay on task the next one is going to be task stacking and habit stacking so habit stacking as we were talking about our night routine before it's basically where you sandwich things together to maximize your productivity and what you're doing so at nighttime if you're doing a face mask you're having your tea while you're writing out your to-do list for the next day and also task stacking can be within those interval timers getting done the tasks that are going to take you let's say you know okay i can definitely get these tasks done within 30 minutes you're going to see if you can chunk those together so that you're getting those two things done within that one interval time take for example even chores on sunday while you're washing your clothes put on a 30 minute timer 35 minute timer and while your laundry is washing you're cleaning maybe your kitchen for 30 minutes when you actually put the timer on and you focus and you get it done you realize that it actually doesn't take you as long and it's not actually annoying you just have to act in the moment and stop putting things off for later next one is something that i learned when i read the book atomic habits which you should definitely read if you're trying to build habits you want to focus on being one percent better every single day i know it can be so hard where you want to get everything done and then you're just beating yourself over it beating yourself up over it but there's no reason to beat yourself up over it because that is how you get into a slump and if you find yourself in a slump i just posted a video of how to get out of a slump so go check that out after this it'll be in my description as well but it can be way too easy to start making excuses because it's all about the small things that you do every single day that action steps that you take if you want to do a lot of things but you're simply just saying you want to do a lot of things that's not going to get you anywhere it's all about continuous improvement not striving for perfection or making drastic changes overnight progress is progress next one we want to make things as obvious and as, and as attractive as possible so that means leaving things out that you want to get done so that you don't have to worry about taking that extra step it's all about like i said before also setting yourself up for success so for something like if you want to get into journaling or you want to get into reading or whatever the case is put it somewhere where it's attractive and you can see it so whether you're leaving something on your nightstand where duh i see it that's going to be how you build that habit of journaling right before bed you see see it next to your alarm clock even if it's like going to the gym put out a cute gym outfit for yourself feel good look good and you put in your best work going to the gym also even if you have to study or whatever set the vibes make it a vibe for yourself like as if you're in a coffee shop set the tone it's so important this is a big one but your workspace is truly everything when it comes to being productive you really want to reduce distractions and you want to have a clean environment because if you don't have a clean environment everything is cluttered everything is just crazy that takes up space up here and you're just gonna overall kind of be a mess it's gonna be way too chaotic you want to have a clean environment a good workspace for me personally is i have my computer i have a drink i maybe have some relaxing music on maybe i have a candle on or a diffuser on even having a snack next to you so it really limits the times that you get up and are are distracted and another thing too is having multiple workspaces so if you have a desk wonderful and also if you have the ability if you work from home or something then go to a coffee shop get some work done just switch up your space this might sound like a silly one but when you actually replay or kind of like rehearse or say out loud your tasks i feel like it definitely makes a difference so let's say you getting up in the morning kind of go through your flow to yourself or like i said out loud right now i'm doing this right after this i'm gonna do this so you're saying it out loud while you're going through those action steps and so number one you don't forget what you're gonna do next and it also just allows you to actually make it happen repetition 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 it sounds silly but also in terms of being productive and maximizing your time that is great and even like i'll text my boyfriend sometimes like this is my to-do list i'm gonna do this 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 and it's kind of like a promise to yourself too in a way to hold yourself accountable and also get that accountability right back 
Next one, if you struggle with just simply getting started on tasks, this is going to be for you. It's a two minute rule. So you're just gonna tell yourself basically that you are just have two minutes to get something done. Two minutes, you're gonna work on it, whatever the case is. But once you actually, it's kind of like a trick, basically you are going to just sit, start working on it. And then you kind of get yourself in the zone by tricking yourself. Once you're in it, you're already in it. It's kind of like, okay, let me get this done. And like I said before, you realize that it's not actually as bad once you get started, but sometimes it's just getting started. That's the problem that a lot of people face. So start using the two minute rule. And last one, we're at habit number 10, but it's basically a reward system, which is so important when you're struggling and you're really trying to get into your most productive era. A reward system honestly helps so much because it's something that you can look forward to so that it's like when you're kids, you know, if you do this, we'll go to the park. Obviously, you're going to do whatever the heck it is you have to do so that you can go to the park or get a treat, get ice cream. So kind of do the same thing for yourself. It doesn't have to be anything where you have to go and spend money, but it can just be something that you can look forward to in your day so that like I said it's just up here your mindset is everything I say this all the time but your mindset is everything and having that reward will entice you to just get that thing done faster and you probably will get it done faster than the timer itself honestly you have to earn it if you're just somebody who wants all these things but you don't want to work for it then you're in trouble <laughs> you're in trouble that helps me too also because it helps to build up your discipline more and I'm sure you heard this before and you're gonna hear it again from me time and time again but motivation is not always gonna be there for a lot of things do you want to do all these tasks in the moment probably not but when you have discipline and you kind of just go with the flow of things and get it done you're gonna feel so good and then you're gonna to want to keep building that habit it is time to exit your lazy girl era it's time to actually be productive and this is the roadmap to help you get there so if you stay to the end of this video make sure you comment this emoji you are a real one don't forget to check out magic mind which will be linked down below and let me know your guys's thoughts like i said consistency is key with everything in this video but also with these consistency is also key it's all about adding things into your routine and just staying consistent with it and building up those habits to build up your discipline I know you guys are gonna be in your productive era real soon If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe Turn on your bell, you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video Let me know what else you need help with in the comments so that I can film those videos Get those up for you guys and help you be on your way to living your best life every single day And I love you guys all so much